Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's ICU, and today we have something absolutely urgent to discuss in the realm of jailbreaking. I cannot stress how important this is. Be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and share it around to tell people how massively important this is, especially if they are jailbreakers and they do enjoy their devices jailbreak. Now, this video is going to be particularly helpful for those who want to unjailbreak their devices but still want to stay on iOS 9.3.3 because, as I'm sure the majority of you are well aware by now, iOS 9.3.4 does in fact close the Pangu and Pangu combination PP iOS 9.3.x jailbreak. So that means iOS 9.3.4 of course will go unjailbroken and we won't receive another jailbreak until the days of iOS 10. And while we can currently downgrade iOS 9.3.4 back to iOS 9.3.3, that's not going to last for long. Apple will stop signing iOS 9.3.3 any day now, meaning you will not be able to restart store to the firmware and you'll be locked into and forced into staying on iOS 9.3.4 and unjailbreakable firmware. So if you already are jailbroken, how can you technically restore and reset everything on your device without losing your jailbreak? That's a great question and luckily Sorik, the creator of Cydia, already built this functionality into Cydia itself. It's called Cydia Eraser and essentially it's the successor to Cydia Impactor. It's exactly the same thing, it's just now been updated to support iOS 9.3.x and it has a new name, Cydia Eraser instead of Cydia Impactor, which I did make a video on a while back for iOS 8.4 and the Taiji jailbreak. What you want to do first though, if you want to maintain all data on your device, I don't care whether we're talking about text messages, pictures, Safari data, third-party app data, whatever it happens to be, you need to connect your device to a computer and back up inside of iTunes if you want to maintain any data on your device because again, this will achieve the exact same results as a restore, meaning it will wipe everything. Also, before we get into this, I just wanted to say that do not for any reason go inside of the settings app followed by general reset and erase all content and settings. That will actually lock you out of jailbreaking as well. It will essentially brick your device, so to speak, and you'll be forced into restoring to iOS 9.3.4 if Apple's no longer signing 9.3.3. So this is how we achieve those results. Again, you want to launch up Cydia and search for Cydia Eraser and then tap on modify followed by install. As I mentioned, this is already a part of Cydia and we're just installing the actual interface onto our devices so that way we can utilize it. We can go ahead and tap on return to Cydia and then just press the home button and you should see eraser on your device's home screen. So let's go ahead and tap on into it now and it has a very simple interface. It's just text and it basically tells you about eraser and I'm going to read the first paragraph because again, this is so important. Quote, using this tool will destroy all data on your device, revert all changes to files on the device, remove the jailbreak, and return it to stock Apple iOS while preserving your iOS version. Now that's absolutely key. Even though this will technically speaking unjailbreak your device, you will be able to re-jailbreak because we're going to stay on iOS 9.3.3. So at this point, I'm going to tap erase all data, unjailbreak device. Remember, if you want any info on your device, you need to back up first, and I'm going to confirm this action actual action here. So now it's going through, it's downloading the bill of materials. So this is actually super cool. What it does is it goes out to Apple's servers, their OTA update servers, and it compares files on your device with the corresponding OTA update for whichever firmware it's on, provided there is an OTA update for said firmware. So in this case, iOS 9.3.3. And because there is, we're going to be good to go. And it doesn't matter whether they've stopped signing it. Essentially what it's going to do is download some of those components and then of course replace them and kind of revert things to stock. So it's not a full restore. It doesn't need to check with Apple's servers for this to process. And it's actually extremely awesome. So I'm going to speed this up here and I'll be back once it finishes. All right, and there we go. It looks like Eraser did finish and process successfully. We have the Apple logo now and we're just going to wait for it to come back up. And don't worry if you guys get any sort of a screen glitch like what's going on right now. It will just continue on to another Apple logo followed by a progress bar. And then at that point, it should be good to go and move on 
respond to what appears to be the on-device consolidation step that a device actually goes through following an official restore through iTunes. Don't worry if you guys get an Apple logo with a progress bar beneath it. All right, and here we go. As you guys can see, this is the on-device consolidation step I was talking about. By the way, all of this has been sped up, so it's not real time and yours will definitely take longer. All right, we are finally done. I'm going to go ahead and slide to unlock here, and we're actually just going to go through the full setup process. I'm gonna be back once I'm finished with it. All right, here we go, I just finished that. Let's go ahead and tap get started, and you'll notice, boom, there we go. We are completely stock now. We don't have Cydia, the combination Pangu PP jailbreak app, or even Pokemon Go, that third-party app that I showed you guys I had installed previously. And this, of course, is the default wallpaper for the blue 6th gen iPod Touch. Now I'm just going to launch up the settings app and show you guys that we are in fact on iOS 9.3.3. All right, so inside of settings, general about, down below at the bottom for the version, you'll notice that again, we are in fact running iOS 9.3.3, the latest jailbreakable firmware. So there you have it, a complete reset. This is definitely going to be helpful for those of you who either want to reset your device or who just want a clean start. Maybe you've installed too many tweaks, you don't want to have to uninstall them or try to fix things, or maybe you're experiencing random crashing issues all of the time. This hopefully will remedy that. Again, it's just a complete reset. And if you did make a backup inside of iTunes, now would be the time to connect your device to your computer, launch up iTunes, and restore from your backup. All right, and last but not least, you can now re-jailbreak either using the full on-device method available at jailbreakme9.com. All you have to do is navigate to it inside of Safari, then just watch the video found in the important info section. So just tap on that. Once you have all of the steps down and you're familiar with the process, you can tap on download now to install the combination Pangu PP jailbreak app and get things rolling with your iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak. Or of course, you can utilize the computer if you want the English version of the Pangu app. I will have all of my tutorials linked for you down below in the description. All right, and that wraps up everything I want to talk about in this video. I really do hope it helped you guys out. Be sure to give it a huge thumbs up if you did. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And of course, click the subscribe button below next to my channel name if you have yet to. And then just like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter for even more frequent updates. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Device community on Patreon to help out the channel channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.